guys, welcome to Driving TV. In today's video, I will be discussing the use and importance of mirrors such as the rear view mirror and lateral mirrors when driving. The mirrors of our vehicle is one of the most important tools we have in order to be able to drive safely and be able to see what's happening around us as we drive. How to adjust our mirrors and how to utilize them when driving is something that all drivers should very well know. So stay throughout this video so you can learn all that there is to know regarding your mirrors and how to use them appropriately. Make sure you subscribe to this channel if you're a new driver that is interested in learning how to drive and also is seeking to obtain your driver's license. This channel will help you by preparing you and teach you all there is to know. Don't forget to also turn on your notification bell so you know when our next video is up so you don't miss out. Well, say no more, let's get started. In our vehicle, we have three mirrors two on each side, which are the lateral mirrors, and then the rear view mirror to look right behind you, which is located inside your vehicle in the upper center. First thing we should do, we should always do before driving is adjusting and accommodating our mirrors so we are able to see clearly at all times with our different mirrors. It's essential that you're able to have a clear view of everything that is happening on your lateral sides and behind when you're driving. So many of you have left in the comments questions on how to adjust the mirrors correctly. First thing, let me begin by showing you how to adjust your lateral mirrors, the ones on your side. What you want to do is find the buttons that are usually located on the side of the door of the vehicle, like this. Both lateral mirrors are adjusted the same way, with a button. So let's first adjust the mirror on the left. Let's move it up, down, left, right, and let's adjust it just as I'm showing you here. You should adjust so that only a sliver of your car's side is visible from this position as well as a bit of the horizon and half of the street. You need to be able to see the car that approaches on your left side clearly. Now the same thing applies with the other lateral mirror. The one on your right, the passenger side view mirror, should be set so that you can barely see the side of your car from this position, only a bit. But you should be able to see any vehicle that approaches your right side fully. If your vehicle lacks remote mirror adjustment controls, you may need assistance to properly position the passenger side view mirror or do so yourself before driving. Now let's focus on the rear view mirror, the mirror in the center of your vehicle. We will adjust the mirror in such a way that you can have full visibility of everything that is happening behind you through the rear window. Alright guys, so now that we have all of your vehicle's mirrors adjusted properly, let's talk about how to properly use them. These mirrors will always help you see everything that's happening and going on around you and behind you. When you're driving in the center lane, for example, you should be able to safely see what's happening to your left, right, and also behind you. Being able to detect when a vehicle is approaching near you, or it's too close, or even going too fast, can truly prevent an accident. A driver should pay close attention to the lateral and rear view mirrors if they plan to drastically, for example, reduce their speed. This way, you are aware of the vehicles behind you and you don't catch them off guard either. And you're not going to surprise them by stopping or reducing your speed suddenly and then being too close to you, which can potentially cause an accident. The mirrors are your best friends, especially when it comes to switching lanes. You immediately should have in mind if you want to switch lane to set your turning signal on so that all the cars that are approaching you or near you can have a clear idea of what you plan on doing. You must check correctly your mirrors before switching 
so you know when it is safe to cross to the other lane. It's a safe way to calculate the distance and speed of other vehicles and to safely switch lanes. I'm going to give you a quick tip on how to safely and easily switch lanes by looking through your lateral mirrors, the mirrors on your side. Imagine we're switching to the left lane. What we need to do is focus on the left lateral mirror to see if you have a clear path or not and to know how fast or what distance the other vehicles have. First thing we're going to do is set our turning signal with the intention of allowing other vehicles that are on the left lane know that you want to switch to that lane. It's very important that you communicate your intentions of where you want to go through your signals so that other vehicles, other drivers can be aware. After turning the signal, we start to monitor our left mirror. So you're gonna start to monitor your left mirror. Pay close attention. Now, if you see that the other car in that left lane that you wanna switch to, you see it fully and in a small size, that means that that vehicle is still at a very far distance and you have time to safely start turning and switching over to the other lane. Now, another way to know if the car is far enough that you can safely switch lane is by seeing the other vehicle's front hood completely through your mirror. Most drivers also guide themselves by seeing the other vehicle's lights. When they see their lights, they determine they are far enough as well and are able to quickly switch lanes. Now, when to know when the other vehicle is too close and you can't, you cannot switch lanes. Hmm. In this case, if you see only parts of the vehicle, like their door or window, through the mirror, then don't do it yet. It means the vehicle is too close. I also recommend look over your shoulder quickly to confirm there's no vehicles especially on your right side because of what you might know as the blind spot. This blind spot is a place where the other vehicle could potentially be and you not be able to detect it through your mirrors. So in this case, you'll need to confirm by turning your head over your shoulder. If you're a beginner driver and you're not familiar with the blind spot, there's other videos in this channel where I do fully explain more in depth what the blind spot is. So feel free to check that out. I highly recommend if you have not heard what blind spot is. Well guys, the mirror of your vehicles are nothing but a great tool to keep you safe and allow you to drive safely and easily. Now don't stress because I know all this seems like too much to keep in mind. But remember, the more you practice, the easier it's going to get. Now don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos like these. If you found this video helpful and you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below because I truly appreciate your feedback. Now, without any more being said, I want to say best of luck to you and see you in the next one.